Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. We're here today with Jacob. Hey. We're going to do a review on the No Box Bell Tent. Okay, so the No Box Bell Tent is based on the design of a yurt. If you're not familiar with a yurt, it's kind of what it looks like. I'm not real familiar with a yurt at all. Jacob, never heard of one, had you? No. Never heard of one. So um, that's what this is designed to be. And you can see it's got that distinctive bell shape to it. It's got a tall roof. And slopes off the side so it's going to shed rain it's going to shed snow hopefully you're not out camping in the snow but it is going to shed it it also gives it a nice tall peak this thing is seven and a half foot tall at the peak and it slopes down from there so a lot of room up top so the floor is big too this sleeps up to eight people and like most tents when it says it sleeps up to eight people it probably sleeps up to eight people pretty cramped but you could fit six in it pretty you could fit eight people in it no doubt but you can fit six in it with cots like I've got set up in there. Um, no problem at all and still have plenty of space. Um, the floor dimensions on this is 13 and a half by 13 and a half. So it's nice and big and it is easy to put it up. The first time I put this thing up, I wasn't real familiar with the shape and kind of the way it's set up. It took me about 20, 25 minutes to put up. This is the second time that I put it up. And this second time, knowing how it worked out, it literally took me 15 minutes to set up. It was really easy. You get it out of the, the bag, you unfold it, you lay everything out, stake it down, and then you, you put your tent poles in there, you strap it down, and you're done. So we're gonna show you a little bit more close up some of the other features on this bell tent. So the inside of the tent is really big. As uh, Dad said before, you can fit around eight people, but I would say you could probably only fit six or five in there comfortably. And that is with all your cots or whatever you're taking with you and all your camping or hiking gear. So this here is the center pole. It's seven and a half foot tall, and it's so nice that I don't have to hit my head constantly on the roof. Because you're so tall? Yes, because I'm so tall. And I don't want to have to constantly crouch down to get out and into the tent and all my buddies can also fit in. So this is the window out of uh, two windows in the tent. You can use these um, zippers to uh, open and close it. And you can use this down here to make sure it's nice and secure so it doesn't flap in the wind. Okay, so the door on this is pretty typical of what you're gonna find in most tents. It has a strap here that you can strap the door open. It has dual zippers and Velcro here so you can zip it closed with just the screening on here to keep bugs out and still allow airflow through. And then when you want to, you can zip the outer part of it to prevent air from flowing through and kind of make it a little bit warmer in there and keep the water and stuff out. Okay, so all the seams on the outside are sealed and sewn, so they are waterproof. On top, you can see the blue on there. You've got that's a flap. There's a vent on the inside, so it allows a little bit of the air to come in and circulate fresh air in there. On the sides here, you can see that these straps are sewn in as well. So these are sewn in and are nice and solid. I'll show you these straps up real close and show you how they adjust. Okay, so the bell tent has adjustable straps on the side. So when you get your stake set, if it's loose, you can actually just tighten this thing up. And if it's too tight, you can actually just loosen it up just like that. And as I said, these are sewn in, so they're good, they're tough. I've pulled on these quite a bit. You can see there, they're not gonna come loose. The other thing that I really like is the good high quality stakes that this comes with. This comes with good tough stakes. We're here in Missouri, Southwest Missouri is known for its rocks. And these stakes, I have had no problem with driving these stakes in and hitting rock with them and driving them right through the rock. So I'm really glad that it comes with good solid stakes and good solid sewn in straps that are adjustable. Okay, see so the last thing on this belt in is it does come with a one year warranty and this thing overall weight is 21 pounds. So it's a nice, portable, tall, easy to set up tent. Okay, so that's a look at the no box belt tent. It's a nice tall tent, it's easy to put up and I really think we're gonna uh, enjoy camping in this thing this spring. Me and Jacob are gonna go out and do a little uh, canoe adventure or kayak adventure and do some camping here in Southwest Missouri. And I think this is gonna serve us really well. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I uh, definitely. can't wait. Yeah. Now the sure. next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a review on a couple more no box uh, items. We've got a knife that we're gonna do a review on, which I really like. I think I've got actually got it in my pocket today. Oh, really? So we're gonna do a review on this. If I can get it out of my pocket. 
uh, knife from no box and you can see this is a cool looking old style uh, uh, kind of a kick uh, a throwback style knife and I really really like this knife been using it for about a week and it's a really nice knife we're also going to do a review on an accessory for the tent which is a tarp that comes off the front you can use it for that and you can use it in a lot of different ways so check back with us we're probably going to do that right now to go ahead and get this thing all done and get it up and everything like that and then next week we'll put that video up so you can check it out and then we'll follow it up with this knife video so please be sure to like comment and subscribe and share and please read a check be sure to check us out on facebook and twitter no on twitter we're on the gram Instagram. Isn't that what you kids call it? The gram? No. You're not on the gram? No. We call it the gram? I have never heard of it called the gram. <laughs> That's not the gram? No. Well, I'm starting it. I'm going to start right now. We're on the gram under Ike's Outdoors. Appreciate you guys watching. Bye. <laughs> I have never actually heard it be called the gram.